हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अर्चना आई एम हेयर अगेन विद ई वी एस क्लास आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल क्लास फाइव स्टूडेंट्स टू ओपन योर बुक्स इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग बुक्स देन यू कैन डाउनलोड एन सी आर टी क्लास फाइव बुक फ्रॉम गूगल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टिल नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ आर चैप्टर नेम दैट इज सुपर सेंसेस सुपर सेंसेस मीन्स पावरफुल सेंसेस After this, we have discussed about ants. Ants move in a line, and they can recognize each other because they are having strong sense of smell. Ants, whenever ant move, it leaves smell on the ground. This smell is due to chemical called pheromone. We have also discussed about mosquitoes. That mosquitoes can easily find human beings by the smell of human body. by the heat of small and human body and by the smell of sole of feet we have also discussed about silkworm silkworm can find its female partner by smell after this we have studied about dogs that dogs are always passing urine on the trees on the poles and here and there to mark their area and then they are always sniffing to check the entry of another dog into their area after this we have studied about the use of sense of smell sense of smell is very useful to us because we can come to know by the smell that something is burning or not or the food has got spoiled or not sense of smell of dogs is also very useful for human beings sense of smell of dogs is used by cops to find out the criminals after this we have studied about the relation between smell and feeling if you feel good about any smell then you will feel that smell good if you we feel something bad about particular smell then you will feel that smell is bad secondly we have done about the people who are living near garbage the people who are living near garbage they are used to the smell that's why they don't feel smell so now moving ahead so today we are on page number 6 and our topic is very interesting we are covering now another super sense of animals that is sense of sight sight means to see the sense of sight so have a look at this picture here we are having one bird can you see the eyes of bird yes the bird is having eyes on the sides but not at the front but what about be we we human beings we are having eyes at the front but this bird is having eyes at the sides so if the bird has to see at the front what this bird has to do think over it i am giving you 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 very good maybe some of you have thought good answers right answers if the bird has to see at the front it has to turn its neck that's why you have seen birds turning their neck moving their necks very often to see around because they have to see in all the directions to check if something is coming to hit them or not so after this i will tell you now that the birds are having eyes on the sides and the humans are having eyes at the front now there is one bird who is a exception it is having eyes at the front like human beings for example owl owl is having its eyes at the front not at the sides so here we are having picture some some birds and we will see that where are the eyes so let's have a look at this first picture and where are the eyes at the front because this bird is owl and let's see this bird where are the eyes on the sides and where are the eyes in these birds on the sides and where are the eyes in this bird on the sides so when they are having eyes on the sides so see this bird i have drawn this bird for you 
the bird is having eyes on the sides it can see in left also and in right also and to see at the front it is always turning it's always moving its neck so when the birds see two different things at the same time this increases the range of vision a range of vision means it can see more things yes obviously it can see because it is having eyes on the sides and when it see two different objects at the same time it increases the range of vision secondly when we see with two eyes this also increases the span of vision simple example i will give you can you see better with one eye only or both eyes answer will be with both eyes so when we see with both eyes this increases the span of vision so moving ahead now again i am coming back to the page of your book and let me tell you about one activity that is looking with one eye or both eyes this activity you can perform at home and you have to perform at home just close your right eye or cover it with your hand and say your mom to stand to your right at some distance say your mom now to do any action like she can wave hand she can shake head now you will try to see these actions without moving your neck and now you will open both eyes and again say your mom to perform any action and you will to try to see with both eyes open so you will observe that what is the difference on looking with one eye or both eyes so after doing this activity you will come to know that when we see with two eyes it increases the span of vision moving ahead now i am going to tell you very interesting thing about birds that birds are having such super sense of sight that birds like kites eagles vultures they can see four times far away than us four time it means a lot that they can see four times far away than us i will give you one simple example suppose you are having a piece of bread in your hand and you are sitting in open garden can you imagine that if the eagle is flying at the distance of 8 meters even then it can see bread in your hand and it can come and snatch bread from your hand so eagle can see from the distance of 8 meters so really amazing so birds are having super sense of sight moving ahead again now we are on page number 7 of your book and we are having one interesting thing look at the first picture this picture we can see this picture like this as human beings we are seeing these type of colors pink color flowers green color leaves right if the same picture any bird is observing or looking at it so see how the bird can see this picture more better because birds are having super sense of sight eyesight better than us so they will see picture like this it's looking like this that this picture is hd picture and the first one is not hd <laughs> yeah students so if the same picture will be seen by a dog it can see like this it can see colors but some color see the pink color it is uh, he can see like a white color and green color is also not properly green and the last one if the insect will see in same picture it will see it like black and white actually there is a scientific logic behind this students do you want to know yes so let's know this logic animals those who are awake at day time they can see some colors so you will give me few examples the animals who are awake at uh, in day time for example cows dogs and the animals that are awake in at night for example we have done now only one bird named owl yes owl is awake at night so it can see only black and white color so very simple logic the animals that are awake in day time they can see some colors but animals that awake at night they can see black and white only so our the next topic or the we can say next super sense of animals the amazing sense sense of hearing so here i will ask you that you have seen so many animals in your life so the 
five animals you can note down in your rough notebook whose ears you have seen. For example, dog's ears you have seen, cat ears you have seen, elephant's ears you have seen. So, is there a some link between the size of ears and their hearing? Is there some link between the size of ears and their hearing? Beta G, scientists have not proved this thing that the, yes, there is a link between size of ears and hearing. But we can say that there can be possibly a link. There can possibly a link between the size of ears and hearing. Possibly link can be there, but it is not scientifically proven. So again, one activity I'm having for you that you will perform at home. Look at this girl. She has kept her hands behind her ears. So you are also going to do same thing. So what are you going to do? That stand in any quiet place of your home and say your mom to speak something softly and try to listen that. Then second time, put your hands behind your ears like this. Now again say your mom to speak something softly and try to listen. You have to observe this thing that in which case the sound is sharper. In which case is the sound sharper. One more activity you will perform at home that sit near a table. You can sit on chair and you can have table near you and tap on the table. Try to listen the sound of tap. Now you have to put your ear on the table like this. You can see in the picture the boy has kept his ear on the table. Similarly you have to keep your ear on the table. Again tap the table and try to listen the sound of tap. You have to observe is there any difference in the sound of tap. So now we are going to I am going to ask you about snakes. Do snake have external ears like us? Do snakes have external ears like us? Anybody has seen snakes ears? No. Snakes are not having external ears like us. So how do snakes hear? What is the method used by snakes? How do they hear? Snakes cannot hear but they can feel vibrations like you. When you will do this activity, when you are going to keep your ear on the table and you will tap the table, you will be able to feel the vibrations. Similarly, snakes can feel vibrations. They do not have ears but they can feel vibrations. And now we are going to do very interesting things. Sound send messages. Sound send messages. Can we live without communication? Even in this time the so difficult time is going on but still we people are communicating to each other through these video lectures through emails but how do these animals communicate to each other so before knowing this thing that how do animals communicate to each other i will ask you do you know any animal who can understand our language human beings language very good parrots Yes, parrots can understand our language. Yes, very good. Now we will come back to our question. How do animals communicate to each other? Communicate means how do they send messages to each other? So, as the topic is clearing itself, sound send messages. So, we are having different animals are using different types of methods. For example, langurs. If we will talk about langurs. Langurs are giving warning call to other langurs by making different sounds. Suppose if any danger is coming from the ground, so they will make different types of sounds. If the danger is coming from the sky, then they will make different type of sound. This is called alarming call, warning call. They are giving warning to their partners. Yes, there is some danger. And now what about birds? Birds also give alarm call by making different sounds. Whenever there is any danger or they want to communicate with each other, so they are making different sounds. Now fishes. What do fishes do to communicate with each other? 
do you know fishes give electric signals so different thing amazing that fishes are passing electric signals to each other to communicate to each other last but not the least let's think about dolphins so beautiful animal and it's a mammal dolphin is a mammal it doesn't come under the category of animal it is come it comes under the category of mammal because dolphins give birth to babies they do not lay eggs and they are having hair also on their body so they come under the category of mammals these dolphins how do they send messages to each other these dolphins also make different types of sounds so we have studied about four animals langurs birds fishes and dolphins now do you know that animals start behaving differently whenever there is any danger of natural disaster whenever any natural disaster is going to come animals start behaving differently so here is the question what is a natural disaster students natural disaster means the disaster that is caused by nature the destruction that is caused by nature for example tsunami is a natural disaster earthquake is a natural disaster storm is a natural disaster so i will share one incident with you that in december 2004 andaman and nicobar island in the andaman and nicobar island animals started behaving differently so when the animals started behaving differently the people the tribes living in the forest observed this behavior and they moved to safer part of island as they moved to safer part of island soon the island was hit by tsunami but these people were saved because they observed the different behavior of animals so animals start behaving differently whenever there is a danger of natural disaster after this we will study about sleeping and waking of animals so we will take up this topic in our next video till then take care bye bye stay safe and don't forget to read your book bye bye students